I want quality, not quantity. Because I have enough quantity. <laughs> the quantity is here. But the quantity is not lasting. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you don't know, my name is Amber. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. And I thank you for clicking on my pretty little face to see what I'm up to, see what I'm doing, and join the journey. So thank you, and I hope you liked today's video. And yeah, let's get to it. We're on to another video. And this week, um, I don't have much plan. I did order my coffee table finally, a different one. I feel like in the last video, I probably told y'all about the the coffee table that I had ordered and it just was itty bitty. I sent it back. Let me give a disclaimer too. Do not order from Value Furniture if you do not want them to take money back because you will order and you will pay the full price or whatever like that. Of course, you're paying the full price, whatever. But you'll order, you'll pay all the money and then if you want to return it, they'll send somebody to pick the item back up for however you won't get the full money that you paid for it. So I paid, I think the price for that little bitty table that I paid for was like, the total I think it came into like three something. And they only gave me like 150 back. So I have to pay 150 back. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm actually doing the math right, but if I'm not, then I'll like insert how much it is on the screen, but neither here nor there. I will not order from Value Furniture if you're not certain and for sure if you didn't see the item in person and you looked at it and you're like, okay, I like this. Because if you order it online and you return it, it you're not going to get all your money back. That's a bummer, but neither here nor there. I'm not bashing the company, just letting y'all know because I ain't seen nobody online talk about like the return policy for them. I've seen somebody buy the table that I had. <clears throat> But it looked cute in her apartment, so I was like, oh, like, that's a perfect, like, I like the layout of the table and how it is, and I can stick stuff on the side of it and stuff on the top of it. It just, it was too small, so I was like, okay, whatever, neither nor there we move, so I found another table. Uh, I ordered it yesterday. I'm going to pick that up today. I also have a dentist appointment today. It is 11.10. I kind of want to leave the house right now, but I'm about to make me something to eat before I go. Uh, what else do we have planned today? And that's really it. It's just the dentist and picking up my table. Yeah, I also need to see if I can drop these shoes off to Chelsea. I haven't talked to her about it. So Chelsea, if you're watching this video, hey girl, I was thinking about you and I already had it in mind when I hit you up. But yeah, um, I need to do that. But I also need to waste a little time until traffic died down because I'm not trying to sit in traffic. Today is, what's today? Today is Tuesday the 29th. So, what's this week? I know Halloween is this week. I don't, I'm not dressing up or nothing like that. I don't know when the last time I dressed up. I don't have much planned. Maybe I'll get some candy and pass that out. We wanted to go to a pumpkin patch this year, but I think the pumpkin patches end on Thursday and I don't have no idea. I mean, I don't have no plans to go. Today is not a good day. Tomorrow, I'm not trying to leave this house. I want to clean my house. And then Thursday, I'm trying to chill. Um, I'm sitting in my beauty room also, as you guys can see. I love my little space. I love my little space. I have not filmed any videos in here. I want some type of like inspo. That plane is loud, so hopefully I'm speaking over that plane. But I want some type of inspo to um start like filming different videos in here and really want to do something in my space like i really really like how this space came out however the pictures over there i like them and all but i absolutely think i do kind of want to change them <laughs> let me go over here so yeah those pictures right there uh i like them but i think i want to change them to something different like because i wanted like a different type of gallery wall not just pictures of vogue but I seen different pictures on Etsy and these pictures were like bought in a pack. So I just brought that pack and printed them out and went on by my way. So yeah. And then as you can see, because right here I am giving all these clothes away. I don't know if you guys can see. So yeah. 
all this stuff is really really nice but i just know i'm not gonna wear it and i'm really really trying to stop holding on to things that i know i'm not gonna wear even though i pick some of this stuff up like here and there i don't pick it up enough for me to keep it and i'm to that point like i think i already told y'all that i wanted to revamp my closet and do my closet over to the woman that i am now like i haven't changed much but i've changed much if that if that makes sense like with my clothing like i'm really trying to stop wearing um not stop wearing in general but all i wear is graphic tees i don't have any basic tees like i think i showed i didn't really show y'all but i am starting to like buy little things i only started with one thing first though so i got one thing i got the basic bodysuit when it comes to revamping my closet i want to get longevity pieces yes yeah, so i want quality not quantity because i have enough quantity <laughs> the quantity is here but the quantity is not lasting <laughs> for what it needs to last for like i want my stuff to last for years so i did buy um a bodysuit which i know when i show you all a bodysuit and it's from amazon y'all probably go like girl you're gonna have to rebuy that eventually but um it's a start because i am throwing a lot away so i'm not trying to hurt my pockets too much like i'm trying to be reasonable but also make it make sense with revamping my closet but i do know that i need basics that's the number one thing because i do not have basics in my closet i need basics i need some more um jeans like straight leg jeans that don't have rips in it because i don't have many that don't have rips in it and i need some like fitted jeans that fit me because all my jeans they fit me in certain areas but i feel like i've lost weight also haven't been in the gym tried to get back in there but we ain't we ain't going to get to that i'm in the era now where i'm not buying i'm not going off the the sizes no more i'm just going off what fits me and what looks good on me because it needs to make sense i have a list i wrote it on my phone my phone's not in here but i did have a list that i wrote things down on so yeah that is that i'm looking at this table y'all i put this table in my beauty room i don't know if i ever told y'all but it did break and i had to like super glue the leg but i do think i want to switch this this out I think I want to switch this desk out and I think I want to get um, some drawers to go on the side. On the side. I just seen this girl post some from Home Depot and I think they were like $60 or something. I think I want to put those drawers on the side. So this is the area. This desk right here is from All Modern. I bought this desk. The legs are cheaply made. It's not real wood. So when I was trying to move the desk, the this leg broke in the back but i super glued it so you can't even tell and yeah it was literally hanging on by a thread so i want to switch this out and get the moving desk that like moves up and down and i think they have i know they have a black one for sure i don't know if i would do black maybe hmm, i don't know if i would do black maybe i think i'll do white though but i told myself that i wasn't actually gonna buy a desktop until i was consistent with youtube consistent with like getting back into content and filming and stuff like that and like really really being serious with it so i think once i buy the desktop then i may switch this desk out because this desk is doing perfectly fine so i'm not going to do that i may what i may do is buy the drawers because i think those are like 60 dollars already from home depot so i may buy the drawers first and do that and then buy the uh set that up and then buy the desk in the desktop at a later time y'all when i tell y'all i'm just i'm just now getting on i'm just now getting on i left this house at, i think it was like 11 40 or something when i left this house y'all let me tell you what time it is I'm It's 11.44. Let me show you the phone just so you can see. For real. This. Why is it 11.54? And I'm just not getting home. This don't make no sense. Like, 
I think I'm about to clean because I did say that I wanted to clean today. Crazy because I just said I got home at 11.54, but I really think I want to clean because tomorrow I kind of want to just go get the table. I didn't go get the table, y'all. I did not go get the table. Now, editing Amber here, I'm just about to make just a quick rundown as to why I got home late because I don't know what all, I just, I had to cut all that out because there's no way. <clears throat> so, excuse me. I got home late because my dentist one was at 1.30. From there, I had to go to the specialist. From there, I left at 5 o'clock, went to my parents' house, dropped my ballot off. Then I got my mom some Starbucks because she wasn't feeling well. From there, I went to my friend's house and was there all night. From I think I got there at like 7.30 or 7 something and left at like 11.10 or something. Because I got home and like I showed y'all, it was 11.44 on the clock. So that's what happened. And the reason why it took so long is because the dentist, the doctor that was there, couldn't do my root canal the way that, you know, a usual doctor does it. So that's why in the took majority of my day, I there was no way for me to get back home and try to go and get the table. So that's that. And yeah, let's resume back to the video. <laughs> it wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't get an Amazon package, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I got this Amazon package. It's just a book. I am trying to. I'm trying to get back into reading because I really need to. So it's this book. I think make today count. The secret of your success is determined by your daily agenda. So I seen Tierra Walker post this and I was like, hmm. Let me see. Oh, so it has attitude, priorities, health, family, thinking, commitment, finances, faith, relationships, generosity, values, and growth. Yeah, so that's that. I think I'm gonna cut the camera here because you know, we don't wanna ramble and it's five minutes in. I don't have that much to say, so. Hey y'all, it's another day. It's the new day. I feel like I was in a track marathon or something. I don't know what this cycle was trying to give. But it's definitely giving me a run for my money. Today is the second full day, TMI. But I did start yesterday and my body was so sore yesterday. And I couldn't understand why. But we're on a new day and today's just going to be a clean up day. I do have therapy and then I need to go pick up the table. And I'm going to go to Winco to get some candy for the kitties. I don't know if there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood. But we're just going to get some. And yeah, I already took the sheets and stuff off my bed. I haven't even showed y'all the update in my room, but those are the curtains that I was talking about that I was trying to hang to the ceiling. Um, let me give y'all room. These are from Hobby Lobby. I think in a previous vlog I had said I was going to go to Hobby Lobby to see these mirrors if they had them because they were kind of out of stock. These are in a size medium because they have small, medium, and large. I got these in a medium. They were $49.99. This I got from home. No, girl, I was about to say Home Depot. <laughs> Uh, what is that called? Home goods. And then same bed. That's the dresser that I was talking about. And yes, I did go back and get these pillows from Walmart. I need to buy pillowcases for them. So yeah, and then I just really like how it all came together. So these are the curtains. So I have the blackout curtains in the front. And then I have the same curtains that I always had in the back, the linen ones. This is the dresser. It's not as how it's supposed to be, but yeah. So I really do love this. I wish I had enough space to get a second one over there, but I actually like how that looks over there. So I'm not mad at it at all. You know, if I move into another place and it's bigger than this room, because it has to fit my king bed and it has to fit this. And I need space on that side too. So, you know, if I do get space my next place and it has where I can fit two of these I will get a second one put it over there I will put this I will keep it in my room but I will put it like in this corner right here and like put a chair or something because nothing is going to go right here as of now I don't have anything for that here um these were under the console table but I moved them because I felt like they weren't doing too much I may put them back under there to see what they look like just so these shoes are just not sitting in front of my bed <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to get as much done as I can because it's 827. I have therapy at 10. And then from there, I want to be at least halfway done with this stuff and go get the table and then go to Winko, like I said. So we're going to do that. I'm playing my gospel music and my jam. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Drought and famine, that's 
natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave yeah. Every time I look into your eyes y'all we're in here um we're in the beauty room as you can see i'm in here because the home depot thing that i had told y'all about it was out of stock but now it's back in stock thankfully thank you jesus so it's this one i feel like i showed it to y'all so it's that it just came back in stock but i want to measure it real quick i'm not done cleaning because i haven't put the clothes up that's right here yet i haven't put them in these bags and then i still need to vacuum in here and then we'll be done with that but my room still needs to get vacuumed she needs to get put on and stuff like that i want it to go right here in this corner which i know this space is not big enough so i need to see how wide it is how tall it is because if anything i'll put it on this side like right here with the chair and so or right there right here with the chair and that is it so behind the chair so we need to see how it is so i say it is 32.2 like height inches and then 18.9 width so this is 18.9 so that's definitely way out from here um yeah so i can already see that's not gonna work yeah because from here to here it, it goes like right here so i'll have to oh you can't even see literally right here so the mirror is right here i'll have to scoot it over some and then let me see it said the height is 32.2 and higher than this so it wouldn't be able to go right here under here in the corner which it probably could if i got um because they have different ones they have nine seven six and four let me see 
Oh, no, they have two, five, seven, and nine. But I don't think they have five in the black one. But I'm like, I'd rather just do the seven drawers just so I can have extra drawers, if anything. My makeup stuff and, you know, if a brand ever want to send me something, I can put a little something up there. I'm just playing. I mean, not, I'm not just playing. I'm so serious. <laughs> What's the order for Home Depot? Add protection plan, baby. I don't need no protection plan. Decline that. View card. Why are you talking about some hundred dollars? Hundred dollars for what? Girl, please. That's not even in stock. Why do you still have that in my cart? <laughs> uh, child, this thing say limit two per order. We need to get something together because what is going on with the cart? What? so confused because best buy i mean not best buy home, home depot why would you let me put it in my car if it's not even available it literally is in my car and you let me put it in there only for it to say this item is out of stock please remove it or save it for later what are we talking about for real? i'm so confused what time is it 11 26 yeah let me go ahead and put these clothes in this bag right here vacuum this floor and then I'm going to leave and go get the table and then go to Winco. Cause I was supposed to be getting some Halloween candy. I told y'all that. I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. Hello, stranger. Babe's been waiting. Just as I recall that, ass is still amazing. Playing, baby. Playing, baby. Love it, she's going crazy. So go ahead and drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Get to taking that off, taking that off me. Cause I got the blood that made the cup green. about this i'm so excited you know how like when your room because my room always stays clean but you just gotta tidy it up so the beauty room child the beauty room child so we just picked up the table now i'm about to go across the way to a home goods because it's a home goods over there and it's also a um What's that place called? Trader Joe's. It's a TJ Maxx too. I don't think I need to go on TJ Maxx. But I also brought a candle too. Period. <laughs> and I purposely got it for the middle of my table. 
I really hope that I like this table. I really hope I like it. Sorry if this thing is shaking. I don't have a, uh, the tripod thingamajigger is right here. That's on everything I love. Y'all, I said I wanted to be done with grocery shopping, going to, um, what's this place called? Home Goods, and picking up my table by two. It is 3.15. I was in Home Goods for way too long. Y'all see all that stuff back there? And I'm starving. I have a headache. Only thing I ate today was oatmeal, and that was at like nine something, right before I did therapy. And then I had. What you see with your eyes? Open this car. Oh, sorry, I was listening to a sermon. Um, let me pause it. And then, other than that, what else did I have? Oh, I had a chicken sausage, right? Like as I was leaving the house, I think that was like twelve something. So I think I'm about to stop at this Chick Fil A and get a um, and get a shake real quick. Even though that's not gonna do nothing for real, but. No, did I just come out one parking lot to go? I absolutely did just come out one parking lot to go on another. I need to search up where the Trader Joe's is at because I know it's down the street. I ain't going to no other store. I'm not going in no other store. I don't even feel like going to Winco like I said I was supposed to. It's a Walmart right here, so I probably should just go. Oh, y'all, I meant to tell y'all, my jaw yet is still hurting from yesterday when that guy, the dentist, didn't know what he was doing clearly as I stated. Um, I don't know if I ever told y'all the story, but he didn't know what he was doing because my jaw is still hurting. And I remember him putting the anesthesia inside of my tooth and was like, is your jaw hurting? Like, is it tired? Okay, if you have to ask that question, you should know. Hold on, chick leg out here. Y'all already know the famous right here, I'm doing the haul. If I'm standing right here and we got bags, I'm doing the haul. So uh, let me put this on the floor. All the home goods is gonna go last. We are, how many stores I go to? Five stores. I went to World Market, World Market, Home Goods, Walmart, Trader Joe's, four stores actually. I finally got OxyClean. I've never tried this before, but yeah. I always hear people talk about this and they say that it gets really good and it really helps stains. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the yellow one, but when I opened this one up, it seemed like it had kind of like a good smell or a better smell than the yellow one because the yellow one, I was like, ugh, that don't smell good. Oh, actually, this one's like too. I don't know what's the difference between them. So if y'all know what the difference is between the yellow and the purple, let me know. So that's that. I finally got avocado oil. This has been on my list for forever. Another thing of peroxide, because I have one, but that one is smaller. This, I didn't know peroxide was still cheap. Like, this is this is one on one. Good thing. 32 food mm -hmm. I bought the green alcohol. I like this one better than the regular one, like if you have bites, because I had got bit. So, and I know that that helps. I got some more native soap, the cashmere rain. Got some of that. I got the Kinger Fisherman body wash, the vanilla one. Next, 
candy for Halloween tomorrow. I bought some more Mr. Clean because I have the small one I'm running out. I bought some more glass cleaner because the one that I have, I'm running out. The one that y'all see me use today, I'm running out of that one's only a little bit left. And yeah, so that plates, plates, well, big, small. <laughs> Spinach, more candy. I don't know why I bought that much candy, but it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is because I don't even know if it's a lot of kids over here. So, yeah. Bought some egg whites. I haven't had egg whites in a minute. And then some milk. I also got eggs from Walmart. That's that. And then Trader Joe's. I just got a few things. Bananas. Um, whipping cream. These are the best chicken sausage that I eat now since I finally started eating chicken sausage. I like the sweet apple ones because I tried another flavor from Trader Joe's but I didn't really care for that one so. Bought two of these. I'm going to put one in the freezer and then yeah. Got some dates because I need some fiber so I'm going to put that in my smoothies. I got some more of the Manuka honey. I get mine from Trader Joe's because it's only, I think it's $13, let me check. Yeah, it's $13.99 and this Manuka honey is also at Sprouts. I seen it and it was $45 and one for $50. I'm not giving you that. What's the difference? <laughs> Tell me what the difference is? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I got that. And then this is my first time seeing this. It's organic raw honey. I've never seen this one at um, Trader Joe's, so I got this. And then I just got four celery drinks because I've been really wanting a juice, but I don't have a juicer. And I believe I mentioned it in one of my vlogs before that I do want to get a juicer. Well, I do have a juicer at my parents' house, but I don't want that one anymore. So I want a new one. I want the Nama 2. I believe that's what it's called. So, yeah. That's all for the groceries. The last is home goods. I got this. I plan to put it in the middle of the console table, like maybe, or the middle of my coffee table when I put it up for Christmas time. And then of course, get a candle to go inside. That's the first thing. The guy that rung me up, he was really, really sweet, but he was putting everything in multiple bags. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. It's like 10 bags. And I'm like, some of this stuff could have went in the same bag. Like the soap could have went in the same bag. So, this is also something that I got for Christmas. I'm just so excited for Christmas. I got these mugs. I thought that they were cute. I thought this was really cute. It looked like you can give this as a gift. I ain't giving this as a gift, girl. It's about to go right up in my cabin. <laughs> right up in my cabin. So, I got this frame. I think I want to change this one out. I think I want to change this out and put it in this frame. You see what I'm trying to say? And then put it back in front of there. We'll see. I'll show you after I'm finished. So, um, uh, I went with these, so I ended up getting these. So, bag inside of a bag again. <laughs> I got the Merry Christmas. Got that. I did end up going with these towels. Let me show you the towels that I have already. So, I have these. I got these last year, but I didn't use them because Christmas was already here and shit. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I really didn't need these, but I thought that these were also cute. Maybe if I don't want to have no Santas or nothing, I can do that. And in this bag, what is this? I'm thinking of putting my pictures in here because I, I think I told you I wanted to do, like, every time somebody comes to my house, I want to take a picture and they, like, write their name and date it or whatever. Like, just memories. So, I want them in here. My friends took pictures when I came over for girls night and they're right here. I, I had ordered this little gold box for it to go in, but 
it never came like i ordered it off amazon and then it never came so yeah these going in here like that you see <laughs> so yeah i mean it's big but we, we'll fill it up with memories we'll fill it. and then i think all of these are so yeah all of these are so so this is sand and fog holiday berry it smells good i only seen one of these if i seen two or more i would have gotten it but yeah so that's that this is sand and fog sugared snickerdoodle i like the packaging and the smell it smells good a bag in a bag again <laughs> and then this one the ta ta tahitian did I say that? Tahitian vanilla. So I really like this scent. It, it gotta be in there. Yeah. So I really like that scent and I also bought the refills for this one. And then this is scent. I didn't realize I bought all sand and fog. I did not realize that. And this one is sand and fog. Balinese coconut or Balinese coconut. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. So, so this is the last bag. Um, I bought this for a toiletry bag. I already have a toiletry bag, but I thought this was cute, so I was like, I'll just switch it out for this. Um, and then I bought the dipping things that I showed you guys for condiments. So I bought this. It's a six pack that was $5.99. did end up going with the blanket so we'll see how it looks praying that it looks good the battery is done so i'm trying to hurry up <laughs> and then lastly is the refills of the tunisian vanilla ball and these were only 5.99 and this was 5.99 so that's my haul my grocery haul my home goods haul and my tired haul, cause I'm very so much tired. I'm gonna put these dishes up and yeah, I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna change my battery cause I still have to do my room and I wanna show y'all my room and then I'll end the vlog here. Cause I feel like I kinda did enough, even though it's only been two days, I think. But I know I'm not doing it tomorrow, so I'm not even about to drag this vlog out. November is in two days. When y'all start putting y'all Christmas stuff out? Let me know. Like, do y'all put it out before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving Day? Because I'm thinking that my Christmas stuff going to be in here from November. <laughs> November to January 1st. Because I love the Christmas. I just love the Christmas ambiance. I love it. But... I just have to ask that. So y'all let me know when y'all put y'all Christmas stuff up. Like, is it too early in November or December 1st? What y'all do? I think I don't like this picture. Like, I don't know, cause it look, it look kinda cool. I mean, it look okay on the camera. But in person, it looks, let me set it right here. I think it's maybe because I'm used to the other frame that I'm like, okay, this one is not really doing it. But let me turn the light on. I don't think this. I don't think this is doing nothing. I don't think this is doing nothing. It is really cute, but it's not doing anything for my space. So, yeah, we're gonna send you back. Sorry, you were really cute, but you don't work for me. So Nico de Gallo.
hurt relationship that grow, grow. grow. They tell me to trust a woman in this industry, but she not any woman, more like a sacred friend to me. Uh -huh. Cause when I'm out of town, I always think of her. Like I would play with some chicks, but no one come above her. Oh, I thought I was your man, guess you ain't understand. And now I'm sitting here looking crazy, like damn. so much the only thing that I want to add is a bench right here in the front um but I haven't found one I'm I seen I have the one saved on Amazon where it is uh what is it called I, I think it's blue paint blue clay material and <clears throat> it has the storage inside so I said if I got that my sandals that's in those two bins under the console table I was gonna put that in here and like store some of my heels if that can fit too because i've seen a lot of people on amazon said that they were able to fit like up to 40 pairs of shoes and stuff like that so i'm like hmm maybe i can do that but the one on amazon they only have i think they say it's white and i'm just like i i I don't want a white one, but it looks cream, so I'm not too sure. And I'm like, maybe I can just order it and see. But yeah, so okay, so that's it in here. But like I said before we ended the video, I wanted to do this on camera for some reason. So let's pack up this toiletry bag, even though we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere, but I thought this was really cute. So let's go from the wash bag to this. Okay. So, my face things, two brush, of course, my toothpaste. This, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to take this when I go on trips and stuff because, of course, it's too big. Well, yeah, I can because it's, I can, I just have to check it in. But, like, if I'm going on a short trip, this won't be able to work. So, I have, do I have it in here? Oh, I have this one. For like check-in travel purposes so those two toothpastes the grand i didn't even know that they sold these in this four pack um i randomly seen in that target one day and it's in a dollar section so that why am i not putting it in the bag <laughs> toothpaste toothpaste toothbrush grand you can put this on the side like I think Innisfree black girl sunscreen both of the sunscreens that I use um, I'm running out of this one I really love black girl sunscreen but I'm running out of this one so I found out that they had the travel size bought this off Amazon and yeah this one I feel like it's good but I think the last couple times that I use it I feel like it was drying my face out so yeah um, I just put my Nivea lotion in here this is the Aveeno oil and yeah, I'll put that like that. My mouthwash, my floss, I'll put that on the side. Actually, I'll put both of these on the side. And this, yeah, all that can go like that. Um, this Laneige cream skin toner moisturizer this is actually good i want to buy the big bottle of this i have bought the travel one just to try it out it, it came with this uh i don't think it came with that it came with this this laneige water bank cream moisturizer um and then where's the other thing uh oh and it came with this the small laneige lip balm so that works really good. This, is this Laneige as well? Oh yeah, and it came with this because I have the big one right here. It's the Laneige water sleeping mask, but I <laughs> washed it off, so. Yeah, leave it or there, that's that. My favorite moisturizer kills the Ultra Facial Cream. Best one on the market, baby. 
And then my friend got me this for, I really hope that this is focusing, but if not, I'm still just gonna put it on the screen. It's a Naturium Niacinamide Cleansing Gel, 5%. And then I bought this, the Soon Jung uh, Foam Cleanser. They're both okay, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm just using it because I ran out of Glow Recipe, Watermelon Glow pH, PHA and BHA Pore Titer, and then, I mean toner. And then I got the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew. I actually like these drops and I said I wanted to buy some more. I haven't been consistent with this toner so I can't even really say if I like it for sure or not. But, yeah. <laughs> That's that. Um, but I did... Cause I had, I actually had another toner. Um, it was a smaller version of this one, the matcha hydrating one. I got this. This is the Korean skin. I got this from Amazon, but I tried to, and it's from B Lab. I tried to order it again, the small version, but it only came in the six point seven six fluid ounce. So, what else? Got that. Oh, and then I keep these in there like for my toners and stuff. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a tongue scraper actually. So I'll put this behind there. Some, uh, what is this called again? Panty liners. <laughs> I'll put these in here. I have a nail file, I, I guess. <laughs> and then my favorites that I use on a daily. The squalene vitamin C oil by Biosense, and then the ordinary squalene um, oil from the ordinary. So I use those daily on my face. So I need them and then a razor. So yeah, I believe, not I believe that is it. And then I have a hair tie. So yeah, I'll put this over here. I actually have a lot of space left, which I like. Okay, so this is the original bag that was in. This came in like a three pack. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It does hold a lot of stuff in it. And yeah, but I just seen this today and I was like, oh, this is really cute. I want this. So I put everything in there. Hopefully y'all can see it. Okay, so I put everything in there. Hopefully y'all can see it. I know it's not going to stay like exactly like this but yeah so that's what we have going on and yeah we have our new travel bag i'm so excited it's so freaking it's so cute and the, also the other reason why that i got this too is because i have to open it back up because i also said that i can put like I can just make this one big travel bag because I don't use a lot of makeup. So I feel like I can put my makeup in here as well. Put my brushes in this part right here. Because the only thing that's in there is panty liner. So I can put my brushes in there or something. Or I'll put them in a the smaller bag by itself. But then actually put my makeup in here with my skincare stuff. Because I don't, I don't have a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't feel like I have a lot of stuff. But it's a lot of stuff, I guess. Yeah, so... That's it. I'm not going to keep rambling. I'm about to fill these tubes up and then I'm going to go sit down and eat because I've been at it all day and it is 7-Eleven. So, yeah, luckily my headache is kind of gone. So I'll just end it here. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was quick. It was short, I think. Yeah, I think it was short. It was only two days. So I don't know how much footage that is or how much footage it's going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come back for more. And yeah, I hope you subscribe, like, and comment, and give me feedback, or just talk to me. Give me suggestions on anything that you've seen, and you're like, oh, I think you should do this, or I think you should do that. Just let me know. I love advice. I love advice. Don't be me now, but I love advice. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, afternoon, whenever it is you're watching this. So have a good one. Bye. See you in the next video.